All right, we're gonna take a look at a safety lock mechanism. We've got a, a pool here, fence barrier, you know, prevent little kids from getting in and keep the pool safe. Um, so this mechanism right here prevents the, the gate from being opened, you know, by someone little down here, they, they can't really open it, right? So there's a <laughs> locking mechanism right there. And we're gonna talk just a little bit about how this works. So first off, there, there's this red button up on the top and you can't pull the release until you first push this red button down. So it's almost like a preliminary safety measure. So first you pull that down and then you pull this up. And at that point, the gate unlatches and, and you can pull it out. Can we do that again? Sure. And I'm gonna, let's put it back where it was. Okay. <clears throat> so please push the button down and then pull up. I okay. wanna see what happened. What disengaged here when you pulled it, up? It's already disengaged right now. What moved? I didn't catch that. Nothing moved. Okay. Take a look at this stud right here. Right now it's retracted. And that's the stud that actually locks uh, the gate in, in the latch. Um, right now it's retracted because there's a little spring in there. I'm assuming. I have not taken this apart, but must be. A spring in there that, that pulls it back into this retracted state. And then when you, what's really cool is when you close it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, you can hear that snap sound. There is, I'm guessing, a magnet in this uh, release rod that attracts the steel pin and pulls it into the closed state. So when I pull this release rod up, there's, there's a magnet that's uh, you know sitting down in here and I pull it up and now it's up here. So the magnetic attraction with that pin has been disconnected and now the spring that's inside this mechanism has pulled the, the pin back so you can open the gate. Mm. I'm gonna go grab a magnet. Uh, I, I'm not sure how the red button disengages it. There must be something down at the bottom because I don't see anything up at the top over here that changes. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we have here? All right, so here's a, a magnet. And in theory, this magnet should work just the same way that the one in here, the one in the, the disconnect rod works. So if we put it, uh, approximate this magnet next to the, the pin and the pin pulls out. So uh, inside the, the, you know, the shaft over here, what's happening when this magnet moves up, we can, we can simulate it here, right? My fingers kind of represent that, that uh, disconnect rod. So when I pull it up, the pin goes back mm. in. And when the magnet comes down, the pin gets pulled back out. Let's take a closer look at the CAD mechanism. Before we step into the CAD, I always like to take a big picture approach and take a step back. So let's remember, this is what the gate looks like. Now this is what the CAD looks like. You can see it, this is the door, and this is the other side of the door. I know I didn't have to model those, but it always gives a good big picture perspective of what's going on. So the mechanism is activated by engaging that red button, which is gonna allow the rod to move in the vertical direction. We don't necessarily know what's going on inside this mechanism, and if anyone knows, please leave in the comments below, we'd love to know, but that's not the focus of this video. So some mechanism allows to disengage and lift up the rod. Lifting up the rod, let me show you first what it looked like when the rod wasn't lifted. And as you can see, this extrusion is transparent right now. At the bottom in green is going to be the magnet that's going to be coming in contact with the pin in purple. Now, once you disengage and lift this up, the rod, the magnet is no longer coming in contact with the purple pin. Therefore, the purple pin will retract. Now, why will the pin retract? Now, this is when you can open the door. Why does the pin retract? This is one of the reasons why we made the cab model for you. Let's look inside what's going on inside the yellow box. It's retracting because of the spring that's adding constant force pushing on this face and the other side of the spring is pushing on this face let's see if I was able to click on it and I clicked on the incorrect face but this face right here is supposedly engaging with the other side of the spring so whenever you bring down the rod again so if you want to close the door you let the rod come down which what would happen next the magnet is going to attract the pin 
and lock the door. Therefore, this spring will be compressed. It will be within this range once the spring is compressed, and it will want to expand. But the force that's connecting the magnet and the pin will be stronger than the force that wants to um, disengage and allow the spring to expand. So this is what's going on inside the mechanism. If you enjoy this, please like, comment, subscribe. You can find all the CAD files in the description below. Until next time.